Of course, I've got the gold-plated snare drum that the drummer from Aerosmith used. Hey, what do you What do you think this is? Amateur hour? Today we're looking at a Pearl M1946 50th anniversary snare drum. This isn't just any limited edition snare drum. It's not just any gold-plated hardware snare drum with a very boutique-y shell. This drum was owned by Joey Kramer, the dude who plays drums in Aerosmith. It's crazy. So previously, I've actually owned two of these. I had one in really good shape that I found around Chicago. I found another one on the internet for just a couple hundred bucks because <laughs> it was missing a bunch of parts. They're wonderful drums, and there's a reason I've owned a few previously uh, personally. So this drum here, again, like I said, 50th anniversary, so Pearl wanted to do something really, really special. Got a 14 by 5, 5 and a half inch-ish shell. Not just any shell, it's steam bent like the old Slingerland Radio Kings, some of the leadies and that sort of thing that I've showed on the channel before. Beyond that, you know, they went the extra mile, all 24 karat gold plated hardware. And there's some really, really cool little details here. Now I, could, I couldn't corroborate this, but I believe I read somewhere in the past that both the lugs and the hoops are actually brass. So it's 24 karat gold over brass, which is gonna help make the snare drum sound more musical. And the other thing is it's, it's more about the little things with this, the freaking snare wires are coated in gold. For the original head, the, the bottom head's the only original on here, they painted the counter hoop of the drum head so that this dark black paint matched the dark black stain of the drum. So it just pops much better than, as you can see, sort of your standard bare metal counter hoop on the drum head. Beyond the little things, this used to be owned by the freaking drummer from Aerosmith. I got the head right here, and inside the drum, there's a, a property of Aerosmith label. I've, I've had one, I've seen one other Aerosmith product in my life with the same label. I, I know it's legit. And the guy who lent us this drum uh, actually bought a ton of stuff from Joey Kramer. So, you know, very, very legit, very, very cool story behind the drum. And uh, we have it all to owe to uh, Dennis at Turkish Symbols USA, which, I, you know, I've been playing the Turkish Symbols stuff for a while now. Today we have 15-inch Millennium Hats, 20-inch Metacrash, 22-inch Millennium Ride, and a 24-inch Prototype Super Thin Dark Dry Ride. Wonderful Symbols, Dennis, wonderful guy, and he has an incredible collection, and he's a heck of a player too. So thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Turkish Symbols USA, for, for letting us play with some of these cool pieces. All right, enough yapping. Let's hear the freaking drum. Tonally, this thing is a beast, and that's because of that maple shell. And if you look at the craftsmanship of this drum, you can tell that there was so much care put into the construction of the shell, into the assembly, and into making just an incredible, impeccable final product. Pearl nailed it with these drums. They're hard to find, not a lot of people know about them, but man, what a cool, cool drum. I can see why the drummer from Aerosmith would want one of these things. And, and just as, I mean, it sounds great with just the drums, but it's gonna sound even better with some music.
what a beast, you know? I mean, freaking come on. There's no flange hoops. There's no flange on this hoops, no turns in the construction of the hoop. It's heavy. And I, again, I believe it's brass. All of these things help make a very musical note with the drum, but because it's thick and there's no flange, it kind of kind of acts like a die cast hoop and that it cuts that transient right away. You hit the drum, you get that immediate sound of the hit, and then that sound just really quickly tapers off, which is nice, especially in a live setting. You don't have to worry about gating the drum, you know, meaning that you cut the signal after a certain time, it's just, it's gonna sound good right in that moment and you don't have to process it a lot. So the front of house guys are gonna love you if you use hoops like this or a drum like this. And uh, I'm so fortunate to play this thing. You know, it, this is truly a piece of history, not just because it's this beautiful 50th anniversary drum, but because of the lineage of the drum. Something that's so special about the drum community is that as these legends get older, Joey Kramer's a good example of him. Joey's a guy who, you look back at his history, he's not someone who just played one brand forever. He's a lover of drums, period. He played Pearl. I've seen DW kits that he's previously owned. Back in the day, he played Fives. I think he did some Ludwig stuff. He had a signature snare for, with Ludwig for a bit. This is a guy who you can tell just has a love for drums and drumming. And those are the sorts of ambassadors that really help us to continue what we do today. Think about Charlie Watts from the Rolling Stones, another person who loved drums and drummers. Uh, Bunny Carlos, the drummer from Cheap Trick, another rock superstar who loves drums and drumming. You know, it's those type of folks at the top of our industry who uh, really fuel a love that is so deep that I think that it really just, I mean, it, it, it touches you, you know? I mean, to be able to sit here and play this drum knowing Joey Kramer played it, knowing that he probably loved it, knowing that the guy who bought it from him, Dennis, thought it was so important that he thinks I should make a video with this thing. And then for me to see it and fall in love with this drum, all again after having previously owned two because of a relationship that I had with Pearl. You know, I've, I've been down to their headquarters in Nashville. I've hung out with some of their marketing and uh, AR folks before. You know, it's again, drummers who love drum and drumming fuel our, the products and the music that we make and ultimately fuel the passion that we have for our instrument. So that's, that, there's a little uh, philosophical bit for you summed up in the story of one little drum. Besides the one little drum here today, I used my Yamaha kit, recording customs in hot red. I put a UV2 Evans head on the top here because I, I didn't want to put any more wear and tear on this really cool Aerosmith logo head. More Evans heads across the kit, Onyx top and bottom on the toms, EQ4 frosted on the back of the kick. On the front, I've got a G2 clear uh, with a Gibraltar felt strip and the paint. It's by my partner Cam and DW hardware for the most part with a Pearl High hat stand. Doesn't get better than this, folks. So drums. Learn to love them and learn to love drummers or get the heck out and learn how to play clarinet. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do. -doo -doo -doo.